So as NASDAQ market makes new all-time highs, I wanted to talk about one of my trade plans. I want to remind you that just because I'm choosing to prepare for this trade doesn't mean that you need to agree with me. I've been wrong many, many times, and I, I'm way more than open with saying that, right? Uh, the thing that I love to do is I love to talk about ideas, and we can't be afraid to talk about ideas just because we run the risk of potentially failing. Uh, the idea that I want to talk about is not just the NASDAQ market, but even like an example, coin. Coin just made new all-time highs as it hit highs of 276. It's extremely overbought and it's running off of news that, in my opinion, isn't going to last. Interest rates um, are not going down. The Federal Reserve continues to put back the idea of cutting interest rates, yet the market reacted in a positive way. doesn't really make sense, but sure. The other thing is inflation is not going down. That's been a big concern and inflation has been stagnant, if not actually coming and going higher than what was expected based off of expectations for that CPI and PPI data report. So all these economic reports, I mean, we continue to even have um, huge retail stores continue to announce that they're going to be closing down hundreds, if not thousands of stores. Dollar Tree just a week or a week and a half ago announced that it's going to be closing 1,000 stores in 2024. Yep, markets continue to go up higher for longer. The artificial intelligence, I would say, uh, boost that the market has had. NVIDIA is now struggling to make new highs, and we've seen a little bit more signs of a resistance. If that begins to pull on back, then what's going to happen with the market? So there's just a handful of things of why I believe that markets are going to pull back a little bit. Um, and that's what I wanted to prepare for. I see with something like coin uh, with versus upside potential, I see there to be a lot more downside potential for a correction than I do for upside potential. So therefore, I'm preparing to short coin, right? Obviously, I need to wait for proper confirmation of this thing actively selling off. And even on the five minute time frame, I do not have it. It's still holding above the EMA line. So it's still incredibly bullish. It does not make sense it doesn't matter even if I want to short coin. If direction is still bullish, I have to respect that and have to realize that this thing still isn't actively selling off and it's not in my best interest to short it. But if we begin to break below that five minute EMA and then work towards that five minute moving average and actively begin to pull back, then that's something that I'd definitely be open to potentially shorting. The other thing that I wanna talk about is overall NASDAQ market. NASDAQ market, again, making new all-time highs today, believe it or not, with everything that I just said. Yep, inflation has not gone away. It's actually going up. Federal Reserve has not started cutting interest rates yet. The NASDAQ just made new highs. 449, extremely overbought. And just like when it's done this before, it tends to correct itself because it tends to overreact within a very short period of time. And that is what I'm just making you guys aware of. It is overbought enough that, again, you ask yourself a very simple question. What's the upside potential versus downside risk? Does it make sense to lock in profits or do you think that it's going to go higher for longer? And if you truly do believe that, then again, I wish you nothing but the best. But overall, as of right now, I see there to be pullback potential. And this is what I why I would prepare for a potential short opportunity. Again, if you don't like shorting, I respect that. I know that it's not for everyone, but I just wanted to share my two cents with you on why I am planning to do what I'm planning to do. And I wanted to show it to you. I wanted to explain to you why on the fundamental side and why on the technical side. So I really hope that you guys learned something new. And if you did, please consider dropping a thumbs up and subscribing. Let me know in the comment section what you guys think about my idea of shorting coin and waiting to short NASDAQ for that proper confirmation of an active sell-off um, as markets always end up correcting themselves. Um, and other than that, I hope to see you for our live trading session tomorrow. If you want to watch me trade live, it's going to be the second link in the description down below. And we also have a new car we are revealing today. Um, and if you want to check it out for our car giveaway, that's the fourth link in the description down below. I appreciate your time. Like always, let's make sure that we end the year on a green note. Take care, team.